we are heading to a walk-in freezer that's leaking water. So we're going to go see what we got going on. I've uh, been here a few times before for some of the reach-in coolers and some of their other appliances and things like that. So if you want to go along for the ride, hop in. Let's go. All right. So looking at it, I think it just came out of a defroster. It just turned on one or the other. The heat tape seems to be working pretty good. Um, it looks like we probably, usually, we'll run our drain line heater through the middle of that and we'll put that... 45 or whatever right there or a 90 but they ran this heat tape which is not the stuff we use and it does feel like it's working um, I have a feeling since it's nice and hot it's insulated fairly okay but I can feel some water down here that is probably not draining very well the coil don't look too bad and uh, the reason why that ice is on the line set there it's not very thick so I'm gonna go outside and see if there's anything coming out on the uh, other side here this ain't very good either look at this door closer don't work somebody bent the kahunis out of it Let's see if we can bend it up a little bit so it'll open up really just need a new one okay so the freezer's out here along with the cooler kind of hanging there on the wall like normal so pretty sure that should be the very last one so it should be this one right here which is all busted to hell um, I have this feeling that the uh, drain isn't working for diddly squat and it probably is freezing up out here on the end I'm gonna Go back in there and see if we can get that to come on through the wall. I bet you anything we cut that at the top, it's probably where the issue's at. Plus, I don't think it has a trap on the inside. So we'll get that uh, chopped up, see if we can get that fixed. All right, so we just tried blowing it out and it went right through, no problem. So we got that chopped off, it'll be fine, ain't gonna hurt nothing. Um, going to go back in there and see what else we can find going on here. All right, so we went ahead and just ran a full bowl there of water through it. Uh, put it back into a defrost. I filled the 45 there with the, uh, with some uh, silicone. I'm wondering if he's not getting dripping off of these lines here, which I don't have enough of, this, of the uh, thicker insulation we normally use on freezer. Um, I don't have any of that on my truck, not enough. But um, I'm going to check with the guy that owns it and see what he has to say. Also, the defrost set for 35 minutes, which ain't out of line. I'm kind of testing, too, to see if the defrost termination kicks out. You can kind of see they had a little bit of ice build up in there. So I'm going to check with him on that and see what happens. I'll watch this for a little bit here to see what goes on. But you can tell that it probably leaked from here because you can see there's some icicles there on it. So... Obviously, it's most likely where it came from. We've assumed that the defrost termination is working correctly just because we don't have much frost build up on the uh, roof or the ceiling. It uh, Usually, if it sticks in defrost too long, it'll sit there and put off so much heat that it'll condensate and then freeze into ice droplets there on the ceiling, which does not look to be the case. We got a little bit there, but this is a really small freezer. Okay, it does look like the water's coming out just fine. Came right out here on the ground and froze, so we know the line is open. So I spoke with the owner. He said just go ahead and can this crap, get rid of it. So we're getting rid of that. We'll get rid of this union here. You can see we had a coupling here. We'll get us a, uh, we're gonna run our heat tape that we usually use through the center. We're gonna switch this to three quarter inch CPV, or three quarter inch PVC. Put our trap on the outside, just dip it back up again. Ours will go right through the center of it, so it's not such a big deal. This stuff here, I've seen some really bad stuff with this. Um, it looks like it's already having a meltdown. Actually, right there, look at that. Yeah, this crap is garbage. There's probably why it's been freezing up. Look at that. It's uh, the heat tape's failing. Either way, we need to get this trapped. We'll trap it on the outside. We'll get them a bigger drain line. We'll get rid of this garbage, and then uh, they should be good to go. Let's uh, 
I'll have to drill that hole out a little bit bigger, unfortunately, but we'll get her. Okay, so we got our PVC here. Hole is a little smaller on the inside than it is on the outside, so we're gonna have to do some drilling, which is never very easy when you gotta go through that much stuff. So, might try to get the old hole saw to do some of that, which is not an uh, idea. Stepping bit ain't gonna work for crap, so we'll make her through there. Just gotta get a little persuasion to it. I was able to go in reverse with my hole saw. Kind of put the edge of my bit up there and just kind of get her to eat into it and then once that was done i could level it up and get right on in through there looks like we should be able to get that through there now then we'll get this thing all in and about so yeah look at that it's a lot better there we go so we'll go ahead and get that 90 on the end and then we'll do the uh, 45s out here and we'll bring it out down and back up again and that will allow it to drip past the edge of the cooler there and then uh, it'll just be up there in the air less things to worry about it, uh, it's back here on the back side of the bar areas don't really matter and that's how we do it on a lot of them and it works just fine if you don't like it it's not my problem so anyhow that's that's how we do it and that's why I'm gonna keep on doing it because that's the way they like it done so here's some of my goodies. I got my copper, black iron. I think that one there is an empty one. Miscellaneous garbage, PVC, and some electrical. So these are the cheapy ones that are like 20, 25 bucks, but still you're talking quite a few dollars when it's all said and done, but it makes it a lot easier. Then my ladder holds it in place. You guys wonder why I don't usually do a uh, video of the truck because it's a mess i work for a living it's organized within the reason but a lot of it is it's just stuff i need i got two 50 pounders there i got two sprayers there you know i've got my recovery bucket there i mean it's just really it's just full of stuff for jobs this is for my new cart to protect the top it's plastic but uh this right here was a really nice investment so we're going to have that. Actually, we're going to do that. We're going to do a T. Do a T on the one, and then a 45 on the other. We need two 45s on the outside, so we're going to come out, go down, and, yeah, back up again. And technically, probably another 45 on that. So, luckily, we got an outlet right there. I'm bringing the T right into here. Got a street 90 right here. Glue this in once I get my heat tape through the center of it. You can still get it through there even when it's in place, but I'll have that thing bent like about like that. That way it kind of fits through here and that way the water won't back up and go out like that other one did. And it's gonna go straight out there. We're trapping it outside. I think the philosophy behind it is the winter time is the only time it's going to freeze so you only have so many months of freezing cold which is somewhere around maybe four months to three months for us and then uh, all the other times it's it's going to be in a warmer climate so if it's inside the cooler the freezer i should say it's going to be froze all the time so i think that's why they do it on the outside i'm just copying what i've seen us do over and over uh, we're going to have to come back though with thicker insulation for this um, which, you know, not a big deal. I don't think that's what was dripping. The timer did kick out right before I started working on this, and it kicked out, I think, at uh, 17 minutes, so the defrost termination is working. And like I said, it's set for like 35 minutes, so go outside here and get that uh, little trap put in there yet. Here's what we use, made in America. 120 volt or 240 depending on what we need this crap is uh, 240 or 120 it's a uh, ray kim so we'll split that heat shrink it butt connector it i uh, usually use a uh, male plug but honestly i think i'm going to use the plug he had before uh, because it has a nice light on it so we're going to chop that thing off about right there get rid of that thermostat because it's self-regulating don't need it and then that way it kind of glows and it'll let me know or whoever know that, you know, it's got power, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to use that plug here. Whether or not that's kosher or not, it is what it is. 
but uh, that's what I'm going to use. Um, usually, like I said, we will use some butt connectors, heat shrink tape, and then uh, terminate it off. All right, it ain't trimmed up yet. It ain't glued, but I went ahead and fed it, fed it through there. That'll work out pretty good, and then that'll, like I said, it'll give us the drop that we need. All right, so we went ahead and ran it down through the center. Got it uh, taped to the bottom and top of that just so I could get back over here closer to where the plug was at. We've got, got our heat tape, uh, heat shrunk onto there, on up to there. Um, normally we'd use uh, the zip cord with the uh, aftermarket plug, mail plug on it. But in this case here, I like that because I have the nice lighted uh, plug there. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing and then we're good to go. Some areas, maybe you can't use PVC. You know what? Good for you. We're allowed to use them here. All right, finished products. We got the nice heated cord there. Doubled it up here to help protect any infiltration from there. We've got cable ties across the top, around the pipe. We've got foam tape on top to seal that. Doubled up here and there. Everything's good to go. It's not rotating. It's holding in there pretty good now that we've got that piece in there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put her back to on so that uh, this thing can freeze back down a little bit. Got that door uh, adjusted there so it shuts on its own now. Got this all insulated out here, which we usually don't do, but I went ahead and went the extra mile on that. Uh, I was gonna put that other piece on there. We don't ever have anything fall down in there. Got my heat shrink on the end there. Um, keeps it out of the water even if it was in there we haven't had no problems in the past and then uh, it's good to go there that's gonna leave it out far enough away from the wall so it won't be dripping into the foundation area there and uh, we'll go ahead and get that done yeah this here's got issues I didn't ask him about that it's not like this just happened um, so anyhow uh, got that there now we just got to get this thing turned back on all right, so we verified the sight glass is full, which can't see very good from this angle, but I did when I had my flashlight out. Got the clock set back to normal, disconnects on, fan cycling, so we're good to go there. That's gonna wrap this one up until we get back with some uh, better insulations. All right, so we're back. It looks like our drain heater thing's working. I have no ice build up down below, nothing up here in the pan. We're coming back here to replace this lightweight insulation with some insulation that's actually rated for it. I don't see any ice down here on the floor, so probably accomplished what we originally wanted, but that still ain't right, so we're gonna correct it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw this thing into a defrost so we can get, uh, get that knocked off, cut off. That's the insulation we got. It's three quarter inch thickness by seven eighths diameter, so we're gonna get that on there. And uh, let's go ahead and get started on this thing. We got to dig our ladder out, which I don't know if I ever showed you guys this or not, but it's my little five footer. Just uh, strapping it to the ceiling, and out she comes. All right, so I don't have one of those cool cutters, so I just took me a razor blade, it's brand new, put it in my vice grips, and split this baby right down the center. I like this type of uh, insulation best, other than that peel and stick garbage because it comes apart. And we're going to end up gluing this thing with Armaflex glue. And this stuff won't come off unless they decide to tear it off with their boxes that they have a tendency to do. So we've got this thing into defrost. So uh, as that warms up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cutting off the old insulation. May have to warm it up with a hand torch. But we're going to get that stuff off. We got it all off there. This is going to be a lot of fun to try to go through here. Uh, this ain't 7 eighths. I kind of made a mistake there, but it's not going to be too bad. More like probably 5 eighths. We're going to go ahead and get that on there. It's going to be a lot better than what it was. And when it's sealed, we shouldn't have too many problems. I'm too far from the shop to go get the other stuff. But uh, we had to put it back into a defrost because it kicked out. And then I pulled the uh, disconnect. Anyhow, that's where we're at so far. Just basically used my knife and my little hand torch there to uh, loosen it up and get it off. This here is going to be impossible to get that big piece of insulation in there, so we're just going to have to use foam tape on that. And then the rest of it, we're just going to glue it and slowly slide it around and, and form it in there. Okay, so here's what we're going to use. 
Have a good day, sir. Thank you. You too. I'm going to add a light coating, very, very light coating on both sides. Let it tack up so it's about ready to stick on its own. Put that thing on there and get started on it. So, there we go. All right, so far so good. Been just gluing it as I go along. Got it all in there. Got the top glued too, and it's tight. It, uh, still setting a little bit there on that piece there, but the key to this crap is put it on really thin, super, super thin. Like I said, I'm just gonna arm a flex tape this thing here at the corner. It's just, there's, there's no way to get around that liquid line, so we're just gonna go super thick on that with the arm flex tape. This, I'm gonna probably do some uh, 45s or 20 some odd degree angle, whatever the hell you wanna call it, but that's uh, where we're at, and then we'll glue on the edge corners here, on here, and uh, it should be sweet to go. It definitely is a lot better than what it was. Trimmed up that extra insulation that was there on the end, so we should be just about done here in a few minutes. All right, so like I was saying, just wanna get this super freaking thin, which is yeah, stringy as hell. You just want a little light coating. I mean, right there, that right there is almost too wet. I mean, it's just, just a light coating there. I don't have my tripod with me and there ain't nothing to stick it on anyway because everything in here is non-metallic far as uh, metal that will stick to a magnet. But uh, there you go. All right, so we finally got it. It's sealed, it ain't perfectly lined up, but you know, that's a hell of a lot of curves and I'm not an insulator, but at least we use the right thickness. Got my new light here, the uh, Milwaukee 12 volt there, with a little rotating head with a USB thingamajig on it, which is kind of cool. Just got that, and I got the 12 volt bandsaw, or not 12 volt, 18 volt uh, compact bandsaw. So I'm kind of looking forward to cutting things in half. But got the big battery on there, and it's kind of today's first day I've used it, so I kind of thought about it after I'm recording it's like man it should be nice to have a little more light in here and I'm like shoot I completely forgot about this one thing bad about it is there's no place to hook it so I'm gonna try to develop some sort of hook mechanism because I mean obviously it sticks to the wall and stuff but the problem is there's no place to put a hook to hook it to your toolbox all right so I've got a wrap around back here added wire ties along here to help keep them from destroying stuff. Had to do that a little thick there, which I didn't like, but it's too tight. But, you know, like I said, there's a little wrinkle here and there, but she's completely sealed all the way around. Same with here, here. You know, that's three quarter inch thick, so the little 16th eighth of an inch gap that's there, I mean, I'm, I'm OCD about stuff, and as you can tell, I mean, when you look in there, it's tight. I'm just picky. That's how I am about my stuff. But that's going to be a lot better than what it was. And I asked them how they were about stacking things, because that's the other thing you have, is they'll throw stuff in there and they'll rip that stuff loose. Uh, they make like a plastic wrap and things like that that can go around the insulation, which would be pretty durable. Uh, but, you know... It, uh, I think we're going to be fine. We ended up replacing this piece out here, and then I ended up double wrapping it around there. I had to stop it here. We had some of that leftover stuff. Another piece of this, wrapped it. Basically, I made a C channel around it, then did the foam tape. It ain't bad. I mean, when you balance it with everything else we got going on, it's about as good as you can get. And then come back around here. Checking out our trap, which it's got water, so that means it's working and it's not freezing. So they've been hitting that a little bit, I can tell. <clears throat> I think we'll put some silicone around that to help keep it from rotating, because it seems that they they are hitting it some, but it is uh, doing its job. It's pocketing water, so I've got it all insulated. I went ahead and used that thick insulation for it, so it's done. Everything's finished, everything's cycling correctly. I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Guys, if you like the video, I know it's something simple, but it's just something that has to be done.
If you guys like the video and you want to see more like it, you know what to do. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page and the links are down in the description. Until next time guys, we will catch you on the next one.